again, everybody. Tonight in our house, we're gonna have lasagna for dinner. So I thought I'd show you how we make the bechamel sauce. A lot of people struggle to make this traditionally on the stove top, but in the Thermomix, it's as easy as it could be. So let's get into it and make a bechamel sauce. We always like the cheese one. Nothing wrong with being a bit cheesy. So we start cooking. Now here it's telling us that we're wanting to add 50 to 70 grams of uh, cheese and to blend it up. We're going to skip that because I already have some grated cheese that I'm going to use and that's okay. So you don't have to follow it step by step. We just skip over it and it'll still work. Now into the machine we're wanting to put 40 grams of butter. Now this butter that I'm using today, show, us, show everyone the butter, is butter that I made last week using the Thermomix. So we just put 40 grams of that in Get the last bit out. Next, 500 grams of milk. So I always use a good quality milk. Laney Dairies is one of my favorites. Nearly there. There we go, close enough to 500 grams of milk. And then 40 grams of plain flour. And we're going to put in a little bit of salt. Sorry, I was not organized. A little bit of salt. Um, and a pinch of ground black pepper, freshly ground, in it goes. Never put the nutmeg, that's my personal preference. And here we go, lid on, and we're gonna use the uh, steaming basket on the top, just to stop the pressure building up, and so there isn't condensation that will affect uh, the sauce. And now we're just gonna hit the thicken mode. This is a, spe a special mode uh, exclusive to the TM6. The thicken mode heats it up uh, and the torque in the machine knows when the sauce is thick and ready. So it tells us it's gonna be around 12 minutes. So we'll come back in 12 minutes and see if it's ready. Okay, so there's the time up. And you'll notice that the lights down here on the Thermomix are red. That's an indication that the bowl is hot and be a little bit careful. So the time's up, press next. Let's take this off and see what our bechamel sauce looks like. It's a little bit of flour stuck on the top there, but a beautiful, thick, velvety sauce that'll just be delicious. Okay, so that's the bechamel sauce. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.